So hello everyone. Today we have a very special guest on our channel. So would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, sir. So I am Himanshu Ranjan. I am currently in fourth year at RNSI Institute of Technology. I am studying computer science and engineering, and I am also interning at Red as a big backend engineer. Yes, so we'll be focusing on Himanshu's journey as Himanshu has cracked and gotten offers from multiple great companies like Red, Coordination Z Scaler, and Coordination Air and Red have one of the toughest coding interviews and uh, interviews out there. So, what about your journey, Himanshu? How did you prepare when you were in college? When did you start your preparation? The resources you used and all that. Okay, so I honestly didn't really prepare for placement before third. Mm-hmm. but i had a taste of programming from my school days itself i had yeah. participated in a few uh, olympiads yes. these are called computing olympiads mm-hmm. and they involve problem solving skills and the problems are mostly from the algorithm itself mm-hmm. so i participated in that i qualified in zonal level for national level but i failed to get uh, further from there yeah so i had a knack of programming from there on itself and mm-hmm. in first year i mostly explored a few things like ai yeah. uh, and development as mm-hmm. and other stuff as well so but i learned that i still love competitive programming or yeah. problem solving mm-hmm. so i i started solving some problems on code forces code chef etc and i loved it but i never really thought of using this as a placement yeah. then in third year i realized that well internship season is near mm-hmm. so maybe i can try to prepare for for uh, using yeah. these resources yes. so yeah that's basically the yeah. what about development like how did you get started with development like you said you also like explore development what did you do in that yeah so first time again i developed a website in php back in school days but yeah. that was not really much hmm. uh, but in college i started started with django but i hmm. thought it was too complex so i shifted to flask <laughs> and then later again yeah. i shifted to django uh, so yeah i i mostly read documentation uh, they have excellent documentation and later on i suppose i if i was not able to grasp a concept i would look it up on youtube mm-hmm. or some blog later on i also explored a bit of golang yeah uh, but currently i'm working as a, in spring boot so yeah. a new experience there as well so before we start the rest of the video let me quickly tell you about a great website called cryo so if you want to get place in a good company if you want to crack your dream company but you feel yourself unable to crack the tough interviews out there then cryo is a great resource for you so cryo is a platform where you can upskill yourself and you can learn the necessary skills to crack your dream company so cryo has programs in software development where they teach you full stack and they teach you back end development and they also have a fellowship program in qa automation which is india's best program in qa automation so they have a very extensive syllabus packed in which they'll be teaching you everything about qa automation so that you can get your dream sdt jobs you'll be getting a lot of projects which will be just like real life projects that you get in a company and apart from that their placement statistics is mind blowing with a 100% placement guarantee and 93% get placed within 8 months and the average dream package is 11 lpa and the average super dream package is 22 lpa and they have 700 plus hiring partners so you have a 100% placement guarantee and like i said you'll be making the projects like a project that you'll be making in a company so you'll get real life work experience and you can put these projects in your resume which will also boost your portfolio apart from that the best part is that they teach you everything right from the basics right from programming and they even teach you data structures and algorithms so that you can crack the tough coding interviews the tough technical interviews out there and they also have an EMI options available so you can get this program for EMI as low as just 7222 rupees so with this program you can 100% get to your dream company and get to the dream job that you want to 
So what are you waiting for? Go click the link in the description and book your free trial now. What about some of the projects you made in your resume? Yeah, so uh, projects, I actually, there was a mobile application which I made. Yeah. Uh, it it was with a friend. It, it, during COVID times, we students faced a lot of difficulties yeah. right? uh, from meeting to mm. uh, class notes, etc. Mm. So I, we thought of building an app which unifies all the which solves tries to solve all the problems that students mm -hmm. and teacher uh, face in during college so we built a app where you could schedule classes and mm -hmm. then take classes nice and also there was options to share notes uh, notify mm -hmm. all the people of your class a lot marks to assignment etc nice so a point to note here for the viewers is that whenever you're making projects you should also try to make a project that solves a real life problem, right? Like you made a project yeah. instead of just copying a clone that is out there, you made a project that was unique and solves a real life problem that you guys are facing. So this is something that really helps and really impresses the interviewer when he looks at your resume, right? True. True. So about yeah. computer programming, like I noticed you're an expert in code forces, right? Which is an amazing deal in and of itself. And apart from that, you're also pretty good in problem solving because you cracked coordination. So according to you, how did you get so good in problem solving? Like, how did you come to this level of solving these tough problems? Yeah, so uh, I, again, as I said, I started way back in school. school so yeah. that helped because I was, of course, not thinking it off as a placement thing, yeah. but I was just solving because I enjoyed it. Hmm. And I also loved math, so that helped hmm. as well. So in Olympiad that I participated, they mm -hmm. mostly asked questions from dynamic programming and graph theory. Oh. <laughs> so when I came to prepare for placement, I got to know that people find these topics the most challenging. <laughs> but since I had yeah. very much experience in it, I didn't really find it uh, much dif much difficult in it. So yeah, that's that's been I I just loved it, and there is no really solid reason behind how yeah. I got it. I just did it for uh, first Passion. two years because I loved it. I, I remember I would sometimes solve it in class using yeah. my phone and the teacher would <laughs> yes. see my phone. Yes, yeah. yeah. Even I used to do that. You have to have a passion for problem solving. You cannot just do problem like code forces for placement, right? You need to actually love and enjoy the process, right? Sure, sure. So according to you, what advice would you give to people? You know, there's a lot of students in college who are watching this video and they want to join a company. They want to crack a company like Cred Coordination. So what advice would you give to them so they can also improve in problem solving and eventually crack these companies? Yeah, so I believe that most of the company focuses on three things. Hmm. So first is, of course, problem solving yes. or DSA. Correct. The second is development or inter, uh, interview, uh, sorry, uh, internship experience. Yeah, yes. And the third is CS fundamentals. Mm -hmm. Some companies do ask system design problems that well, as well, but they, they are rare. So mm -hmm. I believe that some time should be allotted to all of these, of course, yes. in increasing time based on your preference. So if you, mm -hmm. let's say, love so problem solving, you should try to make it your strength yes and for internship and in interview sorry internship experience and project you should try yeah. to make projects which again as you said should mm. solve a real world problem and mm. it should be catchy also for cs fundamentals i believe if you pay attention to classes in college <laughs> which i didn't but <laughs> i mean you can still study later on mm. during Did your you play uh, placement as well yeah YouTube playlist you could follow or suppose there are good, uh, there is a series of blog on interview bit mm. on most of these topics. So you can follow them and have a solid understanding about them as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think that covers pretty much everything about cracking a company like Tread or Coordination. So thank you Manchu, for coming on my channel and sharing your journey with me and my subscribers. I hope it will help a lot of students. So thank you again. Thank you. It's been a pleasure.